Let's go to uh, curveball of the week, and this is one a little bit different. But since, um, you know, we we have not had this discussion. This might be just a uh, a teaser for a later episode uh, down the line when we're not in the middle of football season. But I had this. Somebody asked me about this discussion, so I wanted to uh, um, bring it up here. You guys do it. My curveball of the week is is who is the um, most known, in your guys' opinion, the best pro from the state of Minnesota. Now, some of the rules is, is that they had to go, they have to be from Minnesota, not somebody like a like a Kirby Puckett who was came here f- from wherever he was from and then played here, but like a, a homegrown talent of the state of Minnesota. Who, If you guys had to choose, who would that be? Uh, I grew up in Iowa, so I am choosing an Iowa player. That's my uh, – I figured you'd probably expect me to say Joe Maurer, but I figured that was too obvious. So I'm going to Iowa since I was born there. Okay. Grant, you want right, to go so first? we got three different like states. I'll, I'll go first, and uh, my athlete here does not play in one of the four major sports in this country, but won a Olympic gold medal for being the best gymnast in the world in Tokyo. I think he had to go soon. Um, oh, like I said, new. New. from St. From, from Paul, Minnesota. Now, now gymnast at Auburn university. Like I said, best in the world. And you just, you know, the all around gold medal at the Tokyo games. Uh, just whenever I watch these gymnasts, um, I I'm amazed at the hand eye coordination, the concentration, how strong their lower body is, um, the way they can, move their body um and do it so gracefully it it doesn't it doesn't make any sense it shouldn't be humanly possible to do what these gymnasts do and you know you can see with Simone Biles sometimes it can be a mental a mental game especially if you get on that that beam or those uneven bars and if you have one bad slip um but you know for SUNY to be able to bring the gold medal home to not only the states but to St. Paul Minnesota as the best gymnast in the world um I, I at think 18 that's years pretty, old. At 18 years old, before she even went to the University of Auburn, I think that's pretty cool. So you got to go SUNY Lee, gold medalist from St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay, there I, it is. I almost actually went a gymnast in Sean Johnson. Um, she was probably, I don't know if you guys remember her as much, but I, I do remember, I, I oh, yeah. remember yep. watching. She was her and uh, Nastia Lukin. Nastia yeah. Lukin. Yep. Um, I thought about Niall Kinnick, Kinnick Stadium. Obviously can't go wrong there. And then I also considered my uh, wrestling mate Tom uh, Tom Brands. Ah, oh, there you go. You know, I always tapped out. I yes. never beat him. But uh, you can call this a Homer pick because his parents uh, lived by my grandpa and grandma. But Kurt Warner, Mister High V man himself, Mister High V himself. Yep. Two time <laughs> two time MVP, one time MVP. Yep. Two time. Two, two, two MVPs. And then the Super Bowl. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, so yeah, I'm going Kurt. He was. One, I mean, crazy, crazy story. Yeah, great oh, yeah. movie too, by the way. A little bit, a little bit cheesy, but with the the special effects and everything. But the overall movie, I thought, was really good. I've not well, seen it. And yeah, you know the le- the what it, I think he ha- before Tom broke. Did he have the two highest passing yardage games in Super Bowl history? I think with two so, different, yeah. with two different yeah, teams, something like that. Yeah. I, I I think that's a great pick, Ethan. Thank you. So, all right, now we're now we're to me and uh, North Dakota. Now this is a tough one because um, North Dakota is not very well known as uh, bringing in a lot of talented people, but they've they've put some people in the in in professional sports. Uh, you can bring up Darren Erstead, Carson Wentz, uh, mo- most recently Cordell Volson. Phil Hansen, uh, trying to think here. Uh, Dave Osborne, a running back for the Vikings, way back in the '70s. Uh, Randy Hedberg played uh, played had some time in the NFL. But for me, this one boils down to two two people: Roger Maris and Phil Jackson. And Roger Maris, you know, the the home run king. Uh, 61 home runs in the uh, 1961 season. A lot of people don't know this, but he was actually the AL MVP in 1960 before that. Uh, so he won it back-to-back years. 
He was a seven-time All-Star, hailed from uh, Fargo, North Dakota, uh, was a, uh, I believe, a three- or four-sport athlete. Um, he played football for Shanley, uh, played under legendary coach uh, Sid Sitchie, who won, like, like 15 state titles and had, like, I don't even know however many Nash or uh, um, state championship. Yeah, yeah, he had like third, or it was like, yeah, it was some stupid, ridiculous, um, ridiculous number. But, um, but, um, he was two time AL MVP, won a gold glove in 1960. He was the uh, AL batting leader, um, in those two years. He was three World Series championships. Um, he was a seven-time All-Star. He batted 260 for his career, 275 home runs, 850 RBIs. Uh, played for the – he's a – his number nine jersey is retired by the Yankees. He's a, he's a Monument Park honoree. Um, played for the Indians, the Athletic, Kansas City Athletics, um, the Yankees, and finished his career with the, uh, with the Cardinals. And then the other one, like I said, Phil Jackson, 11 NBA championships as a coach, another one as a player. Uh, you know, that, that record speaks, played at, uh, was a two-sport athlete at UND, also played uh, played baseball for the Fighting Sioux back in his time there. Um, hails from Williston, North Dakota. And for me, I think, I think it boils down to um, Roger Maris is not in the Hall of Fame. Phil Jackson is. He's he's gonna go down as he he's is the he greatest is. basketball coach of all time in the NBA, and and you can't go against it. And it's not a knock on Roger Maris because Roger Maris has had a tremendous career, and <coughs> um, you know, I had a movie made about him, uh, sixty one, with uh, uh, Barry Pepper and. I can't think of who else is in it, but it was a great movie. I believe it is on uh, Max. Um, you should go watch. But I think Phil Jackson is uh, the the greatest uh, athlete from North Dakota. Athlete, coach, professional in the state of, from, that hails from the state of North Dakota. You, you can't argue with that resume. And and he and he came from Williston, North Dakota. And there's not a whole lot of things that have come out good that have come out of Williston. That in the '80s was also uh, was nicknamed the crack capital of the S- United States. But something good that came out of there. <laughs> yeah, over over Detroit City. Yeah, uh huh. Big one. Big, big oil boomtown. Uh, well, uh, that that explains it right there. So no no time to it, sleep when you got, no time to sleep when you got to get all the oil. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Free crack giveaway. The Dave Chappelle skin. <laughs> but that wraps up episode 99 of the Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. We got a special one coming up next week, episode 100. We're going to do it big. Um, check. We'll have the segments of the show out on Friday. Uh, check us out on all of our socials. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe there. We'll be posting uh, other content. We'll have. Uh, I'll have my betting picks on uh on tiktok as well so make sure you uh subscribe there as well 3g tv podcast you can find us there on x and instagram as well and uh we will talk to you next time on episode 100